Hi, I'm James Miller. Welcome to Miller Moves Homes. Today we're talking to Maria. Maria is a selling client. She's going to be listing and selling her house and has a lot of questions and anxiety, if that's Definitely. right, about uh, getting her house sold. And I'm here to make sure that everything goes smoothly. We're gonna make this a stress-free transaction. So, Maria, what questions do you have? Sure. So, you know, I know the market is really hot right now. I, homes are just flying off the shelves. And, you know, things are not staying on the market for very long. So I figured this is a really good time to sell. Um, you know, I'm in a position where, you know, I, I'm kind of ready to move. You know, I figure you know, it's, it's a good enough time to where we could make that happen and move um, to another city. So I guess, you know, I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed with, you know, and how fast it's going. I don't even know where to start. So what is the first thing I need to do? Um, to get ready to sell my home. Okay. Well, you're right. Market's hot. Uh, houses are moving quickly if they're priced properly. Uh, you have a few different scenarios I always address with my clients on how to go about actively selling their house and purchasing another one. So if you're in the area, if you're staying in the area, mm -hmm. then uh, I say we go out one time, take a look at houses, get a little educated on what's going on in the market, making sure we're matching up with the right criteria for you, we're seeing the right types of houses, and then uh, addressing the fact of selling your home. Yeah. Uh, you know, the uh, biggest thing obviously is gonna be pricing it correctly. And when we do that, um, we're just gonna wanna be prepared for you know having action on it and being ready to, to roll. We have uh, broker's remarks in all of our listings on the MLS. And for those, I typically state, seller is to will be looking for a house. Uh, so for the closing dates, we try to make those negotiable also. Okay. Um, just to, again, make it easier on you. But I will say that you'll find once you start going out and looking at houses and you're seeing the activity that's coming through your house, you're going to you're going to get excited, you're going to find a house, you're going to be motivated and it's going to work out fine. So we can we can do both the selling and me looking at the same thing. Yeah, and right? in fact, I do there's a lot of times I do closings together. Oh, so okay. the closing on your house that you've sold and the house that you're so buying. So we can time it at so, the same time. Okay, so yep. that there's no overlap. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, okay. if not needed. Right. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, you can also do rent back where you stay inside the house after closing for a time. Okay. And, you know, until you find your house or you close on a new house. Uh, but getting there and addressing the needs for getting your house ready right. for sell are uh, the biggest items, and that's making sure that it's marketable to the public. I'm kind of uh, keep it simple. Um, I believe in paint. Uh, I believe in you know making sure all your lights are working. So uh, simple things, just cleaning up and touching. We've gone through one of you know a lot of this in one mm -hmm. of my other videos in Miller Moves Homes. Uh, but uh, I always provide a professional cleaning service. I always provide professional photography, videography. They do interior, exterior shots, and they also do drone. So along with that, we can also do mock-ups, adding furniture to rooms you know, painting, trim, uh, everything virtually. So, so I don't have to, if I've got a room that we're, you know, we're getting rid of some of the furniture and it's kind of ugly and dated, we can just take that out. Absolutely. And you guys can put in virtual furniture for yes. me, right? So I don't have to go out and buy extra pieces to stage it. Right. You can do that. Right. Awesome. Yep. And then we put posters up on hardboard in the rooms okay. when people come through, if they're vacant and they can see, you know, what it looks like with furniture. Right. Or if it's, say we painted it virtually, you can see before and after while you're in the room also. Okay. It works incredibly well. So people well. can see the possibilities. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Minimizing, always. So make it look like you don't live in the house. Yeah. Go to a model home, see what that looks like. Right. You know, not that you have to buy all that type of decor, but just minimizing what you have out. So if there's a countertop, you want no more than two items on it. Okay. If there's a even a coffee table, one item, you know, a centerpiece or maybe a couple of controllers. Uh, nightstand, one or two items. You know, uh, people will keep medications or water or, you know, just 
put them away uh, okay. for showings and photography. Right. Um, and then, of course, valuables. We always keep valuables, any types of medications, any types of weapons. Everything should be locked up or taken off property when you're showing the house. Okay, very good. That's yeah. Good to know. And then I pre-screen all of the buyers. So when we have an appointment scheduled to see your house, mm -hmm. uh, the agent goes through the steps of setting that up. Okay. And then I get notified that there is an appointment made. At that point, I send them a packet to provide to their buyers on the property. It's with the disclosures. It's the utility costs, what the averages are, and then any HOAs, and then also a sheet with all of the upgrades and updates, along with, lastly, a sheet on why they love their home, what makes their home stand out. And that's, that's something I have the sellers fill out. And when the agents receive that, they can provide all of that to their buyers. But then in return, I request a pre-approval letter. And okay. by getting the pre-approval letter, I know that the people coming through your house are qualified to make the purchase. Right. It eliminates tire kicking. Um, it eliminates an agent not asking their buyer for a pre-approval letter. So we're making sure we're getting real, you know, pre-approved buyers through the property. And that's especially important today because properties are selling so fast. Yes. Right. Yeah. You don't want to get tied up in online. being going contingent. Yeah. So off market. Your days on market are still going. Right. Okay. And then finding out after a couple of weeks that they can't buy the house. So, you know, then you go back on market. Everybody thinks it's something wrong with the house, of course. Right, right. And it's <clears throat> on the buyer's finances. Yeah. Well, that's so good. that's a cluster. Yeah, for yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, not fun. No. So, but really, I mean, you know, they have the inspections. You know, that could be nerve wracking for the sellers. You know, right. what are they going to find? I love my house. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, really, you know, I one conversation I have with other agents and my own clients are the home inspections are typically set up for structural safety and health. So really the most important factors. I mean, you know, if an outlet doesn't work or, you know, the filters are dirty or, you know, things along those lines, those are really maintenance items. Right. Uh, you know, and they're not going to ding you for that. It's not, yeah, it's really not something that, that comes up. Right. So, but That's it is. It's not going to make or break a sale. No, no, it should not. No. Okay. Yep. So uh, what other questions might you have about selling your home? I have no idea. No? Movers. You got it. <laughs> you you got to get movers, right? Right. So uh, that's another one I, uh, I like to refer out for, uh, for movers. Yeah. Uh, I typically refer out I-Ring movers in Avon Lake. Uh, Brian Yarn. Yeah, they're yeah, that's great. Right. They yeah. are. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, a great we job. actually, uh, I actually used them for my last move. They did a fantastic job. Did you job. really? Yes. See? Yep. It's fantastic. Yep. They're awesome. They, um, they do a great job. They're reputable. Yeah. Um, you know, I, anybody I refer out, I've used myself. Um, they even, you know, they've done uh, small item moves for me. Uh, they've moved pop machines for clients, you know, just f simple things. Yeah. Uh, but of course, cross country moves as well as they international. Do, yeah. So, yeah, and that's nice to be able to have somebody like that to refer out. Absolutely. Um, and then when we get up to closing dates, we review all the documents for closing, make sure all the numbers are right, okay. making sure that everybody's getting paid the right amounts, that there's not too much money coming out for taxes or anything sure. along those lines and uh, getting to closing so you can get your check. Awesome. So it sounds like you handle you know, all the paperwork and the closing stuff. I don't have to worry about any of that when I'm selling my home. You take care of all that um, so that I don't have to worry about it, right? You've right. got it covered. Yes, try to provide a stress-free uh, transaction as stress-free as it can be, uh, keeping it simple, uh, following the steps of communication with the lender, title, buyer's agent, and yourself, of course. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as profitable as possible, because that's going to be key for everybody involved. That's right. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody wants the most for their home, right? Absolutely. You want to get the most out yep. of it. And, and you want to get a the, great time to do it. Yeah. And you want to get the best deal on your new home also. Yes. So that's why I provide both. So thank you again for watching us on Miller Moves Homes. I'm James Miller. Please subscribe to the link below and I can be reached directly on my cell at 440-222-0403. Thank you. Have a great day.